Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zaysha and in today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be doing my very first perfume declutter that I've never done on this channel. I've actually never done in general. Like I've never gotten rid of perfumes like this. Like I'm actually shocked and proud of myself of how many I'm about to get rid of because I have a hard time letting go of perfume. I'm, I'm sure most people do. But what's cool today is I'm also going to be showing some new ones that I'm adding into my collection. So if you guys want to see what I'm getting rid of and then what I also recently just bought, then keep on watching. Actually, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you all the new ones that I got. And then I'm going to show you all the ones that I'm actually getting rid of because that's the majority of the stuff that I'm going to be showing you is what I'm getting rid of. But the first two I'm going to be showing you is actually perfumed by dossier so thank you so much for dossier for sponsoring this video really appreciate you guys if you guys don't know what dossier is they are luxury perfumes at an affordable price. we're all about being on a budget here but also smelling good and feeling good dossier's brand is basically luxury inspired perfume so yes i'm talking about all your favorite high-end brands for perfumes and clones that they created but at an affordable price majority of the perfumes are from range from 29 dollars to 49 dollars, and that's insane that's incredible you could literally get a perfume for 29 dollars, you guys and they are always having sales they especially now during holiday season christmas time if you don't want to break the bank if you don't want to spend that much money or if you're just on a budget buying gifts for people even yourself dossier is a great way to kickstart your gift giving you're not going to put a huge dent in your bank account so you guys can thank me later for showing you these. a lot of these top brands are super expensive and they're just like majority of their small bottles are they range from like they range over a hundred dollars and you know like many people don't got that money just to spend on perfumes and everything everyone wants to smell good everyone wants to feel good i don't know for you guys but for me whenever i wear a perfume i always instantly feel amazing and it just lifts me up and gives me so much more confidence because i know i smell good and it just boosts up any outfit i'm wearing and spices it up because of the scent so if you are new to wearing fragrances if you are an OG with fragrances, I think you would love Dossier regardless. But first I'm gonna show you the two scents that I got. This is the box that it comes in. It's really clean, it's really simple and not over the top. So I feel like it would be really good for guys and girls because you know how guys are. They don't like over the top, like crazy in your face type of packaging. So this is like perfect for it. When you open it up, this is how it comes so cute and what i love about dossier is actually before you even open the big bottle they actually send you this with every single perfume that you buy a little vial and this is probably like me just looking at it i can say you can get at least like 15 to 20 sprays with this that's perfect they send you this because if you to test out the perfume or a clone that you're getting so if you not are you you're not sure or you just blind bought the um fragrance you're not sure how you're gonna like it they give you this to test it out so you don't have to open the bigger bottle and if you don't like it you could literally send it back and get your full refund like they are so cool about that if you you know just to try it out because i don't know any other fragrance brand that does it where they let you first try it out and if you are not vibing with it if it's not your scent you can just send it back and get another one to see if you like it or not so i the first scent i got is floriental orange blossom this is what it oh this is what it looks like i love the size of the bottle i love how simple it is and the top is magnetic i haven't actually um sprayed this one i sprayed it from the vial just to just to see and this another thing that i forgot to mention is with each box 
they do send you this card with it and on this card they tell you all the notes in this perfume and also what this perfume is inspired by so with the floriental orange blossom this perfume is actually inspired by estee lauder's um estee lauder estee lauder i don't really know how to say that name but estee lauder's beautiful I have smelled Estee Lauder's Beautiful. I don't have it in my collection, but I have smelled it before. Um, I, I think I knew someone who had it and then also just going to stores and Macy's and stuff. I have smelled that perfume before. And this, it smells really good. It's really strong, which is like the reason why I don't have it in my collection. It is a mature scent, honestly. Not really what I would wear personally but there's like a what does this remind me of this is a very fall scent like i would not wear this in the summer i would not wear this in the springtime or anything this is definitely like right now fall and winter type of scent it's super strong this lasts such a long time and it does smell just like estee Lauder. is like it's spot on you guys I feel like on me, it doesn't smell as good as it does like in the bottle and everything. And it is like a more mature scent. It doesn't smell like an old lady by any means. That's not what I'm getting at. But I like more sweeter scents. And this one doesn't really smell sweet. It smells musky and kind of floral-ish. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. But... It smell it smells good, but it's just not the vibe that I usually go for. And the second one, this one I was the most excited about because I've been wanting this perfume for such a long time and I don't know why I just didn't get it. But when I saw that dossier had one inspired by it, I was like, add it to the cart. I'm getting that. So this is called Floriental Rhubarb. I think that's how you say it. I don't. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this has notes of rhubarb, orange blossom, peach. It has milky accord and um, cedar wood. And this scent is inspired by Marc Jacobs Perfect. That scent is so popular. It became really popular, especially this year. And I've been wanting it for a very long time. I smelled it in Macy's and it smells so good it's so sweet it's so juicy and i was just so hyped that dossier had it because i was like yes i'm getting that one for sure because i know they're gonna be spot on and y'all i'm gonna spray it on the little card this is like a scent i feel like everyone can one can do a blind buy on this because i feel like everyone would like this it smells so girly but sexy at the same time this is definitely not a um fall scent at all it's more like summer springtime i definitely see myself wearing this in the summertime because it's just so like flirty and fruity and i just don't think it would work right now like maybe during the day when it's a little bit hot but like here in la it's been kind of cold so it wouldn't really work with this weather but this just smells amazing i highly recommend you guys checking out dossier i will have a coupon code below in my description box you will get 10 percent off i believe even if you don't want to get this as a gift for someone get it for yourself like 29 dollars is such a steal and on top of it you're gonna get an extra 10 percent off and then they also do more deals where if you buy two um or three or four you get a bigger discount and it's all like under 90 dollars you guys like two three perfumes you can get for like 90 dollars which to me that's insane so i highly recommend you guys getting this for yourself or for someone else in your life for this christmas season so yeah thank you so much for dossier for sponsoring this video and letting me try out these perfumes Okay, the next perfume that I got is actually by Mason Margiela. Um, it's by the fireplace. Y'all, I finally caved in and got this. I've been wanting to get a Mason Margiela perfume for years, but then I just never wanted to spend the money. But I was like, you know what? Screw it. I bought this like a 
a few weeks ago as like an early Christmas gift to myself. So I was like, why not? And by the fireplace, I've been eyeing for so long. This bottle is stunning. I'm so happy. I finally have this in my collection. And this just smells like wood, a fireplace. That's literally what it smells like. It's very um, heavy. It's a heavy hitter, so you don't need a lot. It smells super warm. It's perfect for this season right now. You know, like incredibly perfect for this. I've been wearing this non-stop every time i go out at night and it's just like oh, i'm just so happy i finally got this in my collection and just hyped <laughs> i got three kaoli fragrances okay so this these were beyond hyped all the time everyone was obsessed with them and i never cared to try it until i got like four little um sample sizes of a um, majority like their popular scents and I wore them and I was literally obsessed. I wanted all four when it was her Black Friday um, sale. That's when I got these and I couldn't get one of them. That's the one I wanted the most and I couldn't get it because it was sold out because everyone likes it. So the first one I got is vanilla and this is what the packaging looks like and it opens up like that. I mean, everyone knows this, like <laughs> everyone has this. The vanilla one is definitely my favorite. <sighs> this kind of, kind of, it, it's not a dupe or it doesn't smell exactly like the like by the fireplace but they're like they have the same vibe to it if you know what i mean this is super strong vanilla is very toasty and like i love it i actually mix this and by the fireplace together and it created the most amazing cocktail i smelled so good like a burnt vanilla goodness like that's what it smelled like it was really nice so I'm so happy I finally have this in my collection and then I got um, musk I actually haven't even opened this so we're gonna open it together <laughs> I waited to film this video to open this so the vanilla one I just got too excited so I opened that again the same packaging and I forgot actually what this smells like so this smells really <sighs> I can't put my hand to it what this smells like it's definitely sweet like majority of her fragrances are sweeter but the vanilla one is like the most sweet and this one like comes in second to like how sweet it is but this has notes of jasmine musk vanilla and lotus flower it smells so good i feel like i smell the musk and the vanilla and the jasmine the most mainly the jasmine and the vanilla it smells really good i like it it's very clean. It smells clean, but then warm at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense at all, but that's what I'm getting. It smells good, but I still like the vanilla one the most. <laughs> and then I got this tiny little, like it's so cute. I didn't know it was gonna be this small actually. And when I bought it, this one is the citrus one. And I knew I did not want to get the bigger bottle because I like citrusy scents, but not like like that to have like a full bottle. I think the most citrusy one I have is the Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. That one is very citrusy. And that's the only one that I truly like that has like citrus in it. And this one, I knew I wanted to get a small one. And it smells, it smells very like springy, clean, soapy citrus scent. I... Yeah, it just smells like a clean shower with hints of like citrus in it. Why am I smelling it with the cap on? Yeah, it smells good. I am um I didn't know it was gonna be this small though, but I'm actually happy it's this small because you know like I didn't I was I'm not gonna wear this as much. I just wanted this in my collection to try it out and to have it. And the bottle is really cute though, but I'm glad it's not like a rollerball or like one of those where you have to like drip it out because usually um, perfumes this size, it's always like that. It's never a spray. So I really appreciate her doing this. Like it's so cool to me. And yeah, those are actually all the new ones that I got. Like I mentioned, I didn't get that many. I'm actually getting rid of so many perfumes. So now I'm going to show you guys all the ones that I'm actually getting rid of. It's quite a lot. Um, I'm not gonna tell you like the notes of these or like get really in detail with this because then the video would just be too long and I don't want people just sitting here listening to that. It wouldn't make sense. So I'm gonna try to go through these as quickly as possible. But 
there are a lot and I need to like really and I don't know what I'm gonna do with these I honestly really don't know like I don't care to sell them or anything so if anyone wants them let me know um if any of my friends family is watching this if you guys want any of these please let me know because there's literally I don't I really don't know what I'm gonna do with them because I don't care to sell them I don't want to go through all that um I'm very lazy and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do all that so if you want them let me know I'm being nice this holiday season I'm just giving these away so let's just what I'm getting rid of is Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs the sunshine one um I just don't like this I've never worn it I've got it like a year and a half ago and I've never worn it not even once um I think I mainly got it because it was a Marc Jacobs perfume and I just never worn it so that's the first one then I have the Zara perfume black amber and this smells exactly like Dolce Gabbana the one I actually have that and I mainly got this to like compare them and just to test them out and they smell identical so since I already have the real one, I don't need this one. So if you guys um been wanting a Dolce Gabbana the one dupe or um you just love that perfume and you don't want to spend the money, get this. This is like 15 bucks at Zara. So I have this Coach perfume. It's the original Coach one. Um it's called Coach. That's what it looks like. I've only worn it once. It's basically brand new. And this, it just smells like too much flowers i don't really like floral scents that much like i told you like sweet and fruity scents and this just smells too much like flowers and like like you're in like a field of flowers so that's that one i just don't want it then we have rihanna um which one is this it's the rebel fleur but the nude one this is not the original one this is like the um the other one that she has she has like three different um versions of the the fleur one yeah i don't i've never worn it <laughs> literally never worn it so this that i have another zara one i actually got rid of so many zara fragrances this is zara gourmand addict i've probably worn this once and this is um a do for paco roban olympia I think that's what it's called um i have olympia and um i actually don't like that scent either i might be getting rid of it too but i want to um keep it for a little bit longer to see how it is but i'm most likely going to get rid of that one too in a few weeks because it does not work good on my skin and since i have the original one i don't want this one so if you guys like paco Rabanne olympia then this is a dupe and if you want it let me know we have salvatore ferragamo signorina in fiore i don't know how to say that this is what it looks like such a cute um bottle i don't know i just i don't like it i've never worn it at all i bought it a year ago and i've never worn it and i mainly only kept it for the packaging because it's cute and that's not a good reason to keep a perfume so i feel like someone else might like it so better. then we have ellie saab um lou couture i think that's how you call it this it had like pistachio notes in it and that's the main reason why i got it but i don't smell pistachio at all in this and did it get on my finger yeah i don't smell pistachio on this and i was really disappointed and this gave me a huge headache like i only sprayed it like a little bit on my wrist and it gave me the biggest headache of life so i don't want this and i never like wore it at all it's like full bottle you guys we have usher <laughs> i don't know why i got this i this is the usher your but this is like the other like it's like an iridescent one and this is like the floral one or something because he has a couple versions of your and this this again smells way too floral it literally smells like a bouquet of flowers and i just don't like that it reminds me of the coach one no the bottle is beautiful i love the bottle and how like it looks and everything but uh, calvin klein um i don't know which one this is yeah i'm not sure which one this is oh here we go it's endless euphoria that's what it looks like such a cute packaging it smells good um 
It smells really sexy. I really like this. Wow, I haven't smelled it in so long. But I never reached for it. I've never even worn it. Like, I bought it and I just left it on my shelf. So I've never even sprayed this, you guys. It smells so good, though. Like, very clean. But there's no reason for me to keep it because I haven't worn it since then, since I got it. We have the Mix Bar Wood Elixir. This smells very um, woodsy, like in the name, and very musky. And I never reached for it, so I don't want it. We have Britney Spears um, VIP Private Show. I have so many perfumes that smell like this, so I don't want it. Um, it smells very sweet, super, super sweet. Um, if you like that, I'm, I think you'll love this. Very girly, very flirtatious, and just smells like candy, to be honest. But I have so many like this, so I don't need it. I have um, DKNY, which one is this? Be Delicious Fresh Blossom. It's such a cute packaging. I love DKNY's um, packaging. But this, oh, it smells really, really good. I love it. But again, I have so many that smell like this. This gives me Victoria's Secret vibes, honestly, you guys. Like, But it smells really good. Like, I love it. I used to wear this to the gym all the time. And then also, like, after I got out of the shower. But, like, I have not hit a dent in it or anything. So, it's practically brand new. So, I have this Banana Republic W perfume. It smells good. But I feel like the little spray thing is um, broken because it's like leaking a little bit or something i don't know but like it smells really good it's super strong but i feel like this gives me a headache as well and i've never worn it when i got it like i just got it just to see but no i don't want it we have another britney spears perfume this is prerogative i think that's how you say it <laughs> i don't know how to say it this smells like why sells black opium it's like, it reminds me of that. It's not a, a complete dupe, but it does remind me of YSL's Black Opium. So if you like that, you're going to like this. But I've never worn it. I have Black Opium, so I've never reached for it. I've only probably worn it once. And that's this Kat Von D. Um, which one is this? This is the Saint one. Again, I've worn it once. It's just not my cup of tea. But it smells really good. It's very strong, very girly. So there's that. Michael Kors Turquoise. I've never worn this ever. And again, this literally smells like flowers and I don't like that. So I don't know why I bought this. In the store, it smelled really good. But then when I got home and opened it, I hated it. So I've never worn it either. And it's like a brand new bottle. So it's just too flowery. It matches my nails. We have um, Snow Angel by Philosophy. And this smells like soap. It legit smells like clean soap. You just got out of the shower. I don't like it. I've never worn it again. <laughs> a lot of these perfumes, I've never worn you guys. Because like I just have a problem of not wearing them. Because I they're very forgettable. That's why. But I just don't want them anymore. I don't want them in my collection. I want to get rid of them as fast as possible. So that was Snow Angel by um, Calvin Klein CKB. It's a very nice bottle. I've mainly kept this for the bottle and this smells like clean laundry it legit smells like that i probably worn it once and then i forgot about it so there's that i love the bottle we have zara azul noche i don't know if i'm saying that right and then we have zara what is this gold gourmand and this this legit smells like strawberry yeah, it smells like strawberries i think that was that was one of the notes it smells good but i just never wear it this smells super sexy super strong and like this is a nighttime date fragrance i really like this but i don't reach for it so there's no point of me having it and then someone else might love these you know like i want to give it to someone who's actually going to wear them because i never wear them even though they smell really good and i love zara perfumes the i just don't reach for another britney perfume this is um midnight fantasy and I mainly got this because I love the original um, fantasy one, the one in the pink bottle. And I don't know why I got this giant bottle because I've only worn it maybe once, maybe twice. And it smells good. It smells like berries, like um, dark berries. That's what I get with this. But I don't wear it. 
and I mainly kept it for the bottle because it legit looks like a potion bottle like it looks so cute and that's the main reason why I kept it because it just looks like a cool little potion bottle but no girl we're not wearing that and then I have this love and nature coconut vanilla orchid perfume this is like a Walmart brand I don't know it smells like SPF suntan lotion it smells very coconut vanilla-y and like if you like those scents you would love it that's the main reason why I got it because I love coconut scents and this just was not it it was just too it's too strong even though like it was only it was really cheap probably like under ten dollars for this like big bottle but i've only worn it once there's like literally no dent in it or anything last two y'all the last two i have this um sexy secret noir by john mark paris these like you get a ross and stuff but people were telling me this smells like Victoria's Secret perfume so I wanted to see it and I got it and it does but it's a lot stronger than Victoria's Secret perfumes and it smells good and like it just I've never worn it and then I have this tiny tiny little bottle I honestly kept this for the bottle it's the Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson I don't like it it's really cute because it has like a little sprayer so it's not a rollerball or anything I love that but no mm -mm. I don't like it it gave me a headache and that's the only reason why i'm getting rid of it because it gave me a headache and like i just couldn't do it oh so that was it i feel like i did good i got rid of a lot of them and i'm probably gonna do more of these because there's still some perfumes in my collection that i just don't wear wear them but i have a hard time getting rid of them but please let me know if you guys want any of these um if you're interested like i said if my friends and family are watching this if you guys are interested in these let me know because most likely these are gonna go in the trash so either i can give it to you or i can give it to the trash can so thank you guys so much for watching this long ass video and like i said please make sure to check out dossier and i will have a coupon code and a link to them down below in my description box don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye